All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. So here it is, my brand new microphone. This is the J-Labs Talk Pro. Now, this microphone right here, I'm actually using it right here, as you saw in the intro of the video. I didn't want to do too much like unboxing. I wanted to go ahead and actually sample the audio from this thing because it is absolutely incredible. I've actually already been using it to record some video for the channel already. Uh, and it, it links up very well with my mirrorless cameras or my DSLR, or you can link it to a phone. It plugs right into any uh, MacBook or Windows. No drivers, no software, no nothing. It just plugs up and it works. Now my microphone of choice for uh, YouTube like recording linking to my camera used to be the Yeti X. Now the Yeti X is a nice microphone but I just had so many problems with it with this USB port on the bottom. This USB port on the bottom has broken uh, twice and the cable has broken as well so um, I'm just kind of it still works uh, but sometimes when I pair it to uh, the camera or something there's static in it and even though I adjust the gains, I do everything, it still just doesn't work well and it's too sometimey. But when it works, it actually works well. But this bad boy right here, 192 kilohertz of podcasts, just voiceover, just streaming, whatever you want to use this for, you can use it for. You adjust the gains on the back. So if you're if you're looking at the microphone and if you see the knobs on the front, that means you have the, the microphone in the wrong position. Uh, it's actually got several modes on here. You've got cardioid, I'll show you here. You've got cardioid, omni, stereo, and bi-direct, bio-directional. So um, it, it's going to be a, a very clean sound uh, when using this microphone. As you can see here, I decided to, again to not just um, talk about it and show the unboxing and all this stuff. I wanted to actually give you the sound quality for it. So this entire video, I can, I, I normally edit in post. Uh, I, was, I was having a conversation with somebody because I was on the fence about, uh, and, and just for the record, I have it positioned right here, but my normal position is above my head and out of view. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and position it that way. It's kind of, it's up far enough, but you should hear a difference in the tone in the microphone. Now, when you have a microphone, you kind of want to get it out of view. Uh, some people sometimes they'll have their microphone in view and they'll have it like right here. And that's okay. Um, I do that sometimes depending on what I'm doing. The microphone, you'll see it in view if I'm using in a stand like this. Uh, but overall, and speaking of stands, man, I really like this J-Lab stand right here it's a it's actually metal uh and it's got a nice rubber grip on the bottom and it'll fit into any actually microphone that has this this type of uh a jack uh, um port on the bottom so uh, and it's a standard so it's the same as the one for the arm there but it's just on a stand and this works on pretty much any microphone but um using uh the microphone on a desk uh sometimes it can pick up some vibrations but with that particular stand and i noticed that compared to my, my yeti x when i have it on the stand this stand right here um it'll pick up vibrations on the desk a lot uh and and with the um with the j labs when i had it on the desk on that particular stand this stand right here uh it did not pick up any uh vibrations at all it just sounded great and, and, and those videos that I recorded obviously I didn't make a big announcement and say hey I'm using my new microphone at this point I just used the microphone so um, I'm here to tell you that uh, if you're a, a, a podcast person or I guess video gamer twitch whatever all that kind of stuff especially if you're doing vlogs um, and podcasts where you need your audio to to be heard nice and clear and loud and crisp the bass the tones in your voice this is a good option. And this microphone right now is 120 bucks on sale at the recording of this video on Amazon. You'll see my link down below. Go ahead and check that out if you want to. I can recommend this because I've been using it for a little bit now uh, and I've recorded several videos with it and it, it's absolutely fantastic. I have no regrets. This microphone is definitely replacing my Yeti X because it's ranked in the same category with the Yeti Pro. I think it's called the Blue Yeti Pro uh, and it costs $100 less looks like. so. Uh, or maybe 150 less. I need, I need to check those specs again. But the Yeti X, the Yeti Blue Yeti Pro is the one that's actually ranked against. So it's obviously going to be a much better microphone than the Blue Blue uh, Yeti X. But uh, my Studio Condenser mic by Pseudotac, I actually really still like that mic. Uh, but I, I don't know that it's well. One thing I don't like about that mic is it's USB B. It's not Type C, so it's the bigger tip on it, uh, and that's. If I could have, if, if the pseudo tech was type C, 
um, I think I probably would use it more. And if the Pseudotech had an aux out or some kind of headphone jack or something like that, I probably would continue to use that one because it too is, I think it's, it's 96 or 192 kilohertz as well, uh, kilohertz. And it is, it sounds great. You guys heard my audio with it and you were like, whoa, this sounds great. I was using it on live streams. Uh, and so it, it stayed connected to uh, the Mac when I was doing streams and everything like that. So that is something that, you know, you want to have your audio right. Uh, poor audio with great video is not a good combination. So you want to have your audio and video uh, on par. So that way, you know, you'll be able to get a, cream, a, cr a crisp, clean video for audio and visuals. So it's your man Jay, my new microphone. Whew. This thing has been great so far and I'm totally happy with it. And it's 30 bucks off right now, I believe. It's, uh, what is it? One yeah, it's 30 bucks off. So it's $119.99 right now as opposed to the $149.99. So I say grab it. It's been out for a little bit and so it's tried and true. And uh, I like JLab's products. And uh, it was, I was, I was, and the reason this microphone is here is because I was on the fence of whether or not I wanted to get a shotgun mic. I was in conversations with someone. And you know, after doing some kind of, uh, just a little bit of research, I was like, you know, hmm. I think I'm gonna, it wasn't about saving money, that's not the issue. Uh, it was just about what I would wanna use it for. And I would want to have that, uh, the microphone to where I could position it. And I've seen somebody, saw a lot of people with their shotgun mics, you know, cause shotgun mic is for, you know, direction. And I think I wanted something a little bit more universal, so or, or versatile, I should say. Uh, and so I went with this mic right here because I can put it overhead, I can put it down low, I can talk right into it by lowering the gains. I can pretty much do what I want with it. Uh, and again, the shotgun mic, it can pretty much do those positions as well, but it's for direction. Uh, and being able to control the direction of your audio is a, is a positive thing. So it's your man Jay. Grab this microphone if you want to pick it up. I think the quality is fantastic. I hope you enjoyed the vlog about my, uh, my new microphone. It's really good. Take care.